What's up, Pokemon trainers? Uh, welcome to the first episode of the Pallet Town Heroes podcast. Uh, I am Dragon Bees, obviously one of the co-hosts. We also have the other co-host is Cinder Shots. Hey, how's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's doing wonderfully well. Now, we have an idea as to how this is going to go. Um, first episode, <laughs> obviously, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Whether or not it ends up that way is a thing, but you know... <laughs> Um, everything's going to be trial and error. Um, we had the idea of doing this just audio only. Obviously, you'll see on screen what you see now. Um, if there's anything um, after listening to this that you'd like to see either improve or change about the podcast, feel free to let us know. Um, information will be below in the description, I hope. <laughs> um, any way to contact us, just feel free to let us know. Uh, we'd love to see what you think, your opinions and your feedback and everything related to that. I guess, I guess so what we're looking at, uh, you know, the, the idea was developed from the community. The community put it forward, the suggestion of a podcast, and yes. we, the team sort of went, all right, um, that could be interesting. And then we sort of, you know, <laughs> went, all right. And then lots of other things have been happening in the community, which we'll, I'm sure we'll go through. Uh, this first podcast is going to be very much about, you know, who Pallet Town Heroes are and, you know, yeah. what we're doing. Um, we've got our big gym challenge happening at the moment and lots of other little projects in the in the works as well. So we'll probably cover what we can. If we release things that we're not meant to, I'm sure we'll get told off by the higher ups, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we're not, if we're, if we're not back next week, <laughs> if we're not back next week, you know why? <laughs> But so at the, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's going to be a bit of free form. If you, as, as Cinder said, if you've got any uh, feedback on what you want to see or what we can improve or, you know, um, uh, by all means, um, uh, moving forward, we, we will have other guests uh, joining us. Um, probably. So. Yeah. Well, there's, a, I know there's a few people from even just the, the Pallet Town Hero stream team that will, will be interested on having, uh, having on the uh, show as well. So it's, you know, it's going to be a bit free form. Um, we are going to cover th uh, some of the, uh, news that's been happening especially in the last week um with pokemon in general um and yeah so it's gonna be a bit of fun you know uh, i'm i'm not too serious person for the most part um especially if you've <laughs> yeah, watched any of my actual twitch uh, <laughs> content um but you know well how about we start with that then how about we introduce ourselves how about you go first oh thanks just throw me under <laughs> all right I'll, I'll go first <laughs> <laughs> he just pushed me out of the bus, but that's... <laughs> I can go first if you want, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, uh, anyway, as I said, I'm Dragon Beast. I'm uh, an Australian Twitch streamer. I'm actually living in the Netherlands, though, so just to confuse everyone even further. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, so the, the accent doesn't go with the place I live. Um, and so, yeah, I've been streaming on Twitch for about 18 months, roughly. Um, I have... Uh, been on Pallet Town Heroes almost from the start. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I do play Pokemon, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on the team because that doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> you know, I've been playing Pokemon since it came out on, like, the Game Boy Color. So, like, you know, red, like, yellow. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, for those who don't know me too well, uh, my favorite Pokemon uh, is Dragonite. Um, um, which I'm sure you'll learn. Yeah, 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 absolute shocker. <laughs> um, but but dragon uh, Pokemon in general uh, is, is the thing. I do also stream uh, Minecraft and uh, other games, uh, sort of survival games. But uh, yeah, Pokemon has been something that I've been passionate about from you know a very early age. Um, but yeah, and I've sort of come in and out of the series too. Like I missed sort of the Game Boy Advance era a bit. Um, oh really? Yeah, I sort of dropped out for a bit there, and then I sort of came back in with the DS, and, like, I'm, I've very much been back in it since, you know, the Switch and that, but, uh, um, yeah, I sort of had a bit of a lull there. I don't I don't know whether it was a burnout or just life, you know, had to be realistic for a, for a moment, you know, but... Uh, all being poor. All that, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> very expensive, you know. Pokemon is a very expensive hobby, but, you know, it's, it, it's, it's good. Um... But yeah, so that's basically me in a in a in a nutshell, really. All right. Well, uh, hi. My name's Cinder Shot. Uh, I normally go by the name of Cinder. Uh, I've been doing Twitch streaming as well for about 15, 16 months now. Um, and I started I started off with Overwatch of all things, <laughs> um, <coughs> which is hilarious because now I can't stand the game at all. Um, Always had a love for Pokemon the series. Uh, I also started with Generation One uh, back in the day, 
um, my one of my brothers had a Game Boy Color. It was like a it's like a special Pikachu edition. Uh, oh. When the power, when the power light was one of Pikachu's cheeks. I've still got one of those in the drawer You've somewhere. Still got one. I do. Oh, or it's in, <laughs> or it's in a box back in Australia that I'm gonna send over. Like I know the exact one you're talking. It, it was, it was almost like pearlescent uh, coloring, like a silvery gold color, and it had like yeah, it had Pichu and Pikachu and Pikachu's cheek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know uh, I was jealous because I didn't have that, but it's fine. I know, uh, Pokemon yeah. Blue was my first game. Um, Blastoise is the best Gen One starter. Come at me. Um, my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my favorite Pokemon is Chandelure and the whole evolution line. Ghost Boys are the best boys. Um, and I've, I've, my my lull in Pokemon was around Gen Five Six. Uh, I played a, I played a bit of Gen Five. Gen Six I did not play at all when it came out. Um, because I didn't have a 3DS at the time, um, and I didn't really, uh, like these, I didn't really, I wasn't really too much into it at the time, uh, I was still into it, I just didn't have the games, and I just didn't really bother to get them, uh, Gen 4, when Gen 4 came out, I remember playing Pokemon Pearl all day, every day, I loved that game to pieces, mm. uh, and when Platinum came out, it just got even better, Platinum still remains to this day, uh, my favourite Pokemon game, uh, although when Sword and Shield came out, it got close. Sh- Shield is honestly up there with one of my favorites, but Platinum has a special place in my heart, and I think that's why it's a lot higher up for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I get that as well. Same with me. Like, I, I've played a lot of, uh, especially uh, X and Y when that came out. I, I played a ridiculous amount of that. But um, Pokemon, yeah. Cri- Pokemon Crystal is like my. I could go back to that anytime and play that. Yeah, but, yeah I get that. I think everyone has their, like, they have one generation where they can go back and play it no matter how old it gets. Yeah, absolutely. For me, that's definitely, that's definitely Generation 4. My lord. Although, fun fact, I say that, I've never played Heart Gold and Soul Silver until about a week ago. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. see, for, see, see, for me, it's like, oh, well, that's, the, that's just a remake of, obviously, the Gen I most... I mean, I, yeah. I, I get so much, I get so much uh, flack for, like, the, I'm such a Kanto Johto person. Like, I just... Those two, those two Gens are just... I guess it's because, it, for me, I played Pokemon from when it first released, so it's like, all right, they're, they're the definitive Pokemon yeah. in my head. Like, yeah... Especially, like, because I also associate them with the anime when the anime was at its best. Like, seasons one through to about eight, I personally think, were, like, the best. So it's like, all right. Yeah. Shout out to Pokemon Indigo League. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, controversial opinion coming up. Uh-oh. I don't like Generation 6. Gen 6. I, a- X and Y are the only main series games I haven't bothered to complete. Oh, really? Yeah, because I play through Pokemon X... Much later than it came out, granted. Uh, ah. But I got Pokemon X uh, for my uh, 2DS, because I'm a 2DS boy, because I'm, you know, hashtag poor. Um, <laughs> and uh, I played through it, and it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel... I- I'm going to get crucified for this. It didn't feel fun to play. And I uh, still uh, don't know why. <laughs> I, I I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I, don't I, I, just, I, I still haven't completed to this day, and I don't think I ever will. I, 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 it's just not en- that as entertaining as other games to me. Oh, I why? love the fairy typing, and I, I love the fairy typing. It's one of my favourite types, and I love the addition of Mega Evolutions. Oh, Me- Mega Evolutions was an amazing addition. I, I'm kind yeah. of disappointed we've lost Mega Evolutions again. Like, uh, it, it, it's... Yeah, I, I like what they do with it. Don't get me wrong, I like I like the uh, Dynamaxing and, and the Gigantamaxing and all that, but it's yeah. it, I, I, I prefer Mega Evolution. Um, I I was one of those people that was happy with Dynamaxing from the start. I don't know if it's just because I'm easily pleased, but <laughs> I think <laughs> I think to move on from Mega Evolutions and Z-Moves, I think Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing was the correct next step. Because it kind oh, of yeah. combined into two in one. I mean, I'm not, I'm not against it. Like, I, and I think, yeah. Um, it, it, when I first seen it, I was a little bit like, all right. I mean, it's better than like as much as I loved. Um, uh, let's go Pikachu and let's go uh, Eevee. The some of the names in like those names in the game for moves like Zippy Zappy or whatever the frick oh it's called. God, yeah. I'm like, what is this? Why, why is this a thing? Why is this a name? Yeah, I want to hear another controversial opinion. <laughs> oh, God, right. <laughs> Although I've completed Let's Go Eevee, and I did enjoy the game, I don't think it's that great either. (laughs) 
I enjoyed it, and it was oh. a it was a nice trip down memory lane for me. Oh, for sure. But yeah, I guess there was aspects of that game. I actually felt that it might have been a little bit too uh, not simplistic, but easy. Well, it was a t- it, it was similar to it was it was different in style because it was a tie in with Pokemon Go re- re- realistically, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like. I don't know. I think because not because of that. That's a bit unfair to say because it was still a fun game. Like going back through Kanto in that kind of style was a very fun and unique experience. But it just, I don't know. It just, it just felt wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you mean. And I, I and I, 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 I it's less controversial because I know that there was a, it, there was, it was a, a vast uh, majority of people who sort of went, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I like yeah. the style of how this game plays. For like, for the most part, everyone's like, I love the fact that they've gone back to Kanto and that. But there was this, yeah, I think the gameplay is what the issue is there with people and how it's executed yeah. to some degree. But it was targeting an audience of people who are playing Pokemon Go as opposed to the hardcore pokemon game players um you know so it was smart on nintendo's and and, and yeah. game freaks uh, uh behalf to actually go all right we should just capitalize on this um because i don't i mean pokemon go is you know still uh i mean it's it's not as um heavy as it was when it first started but it's still got a huge fan it's base still going strong. oh yeah it's absolutely you know i mean i remember the first couple of months of that coming out um going down the street and like literally you could see people like with their phone in their hand and you knew immediately they were playing pokemon go <laughs> <laughs> you just see like clusters of people standing in specific spots it's like Dude, <laughs> i remember the first day it came out because me and my younger brother were keeping an eye on the app store thinking okay when's it happening when's it happening um and then one morning uh, i was awake found out it was out and i went to my brother's room he was still in bed at the time i was like get up <laughs> he's like why i was like it's out and then his face was like okay i'm getting dressed we're going out yeah um, <laughs> and then when we left the house not two minutes later we ended up in a conversation with someone else who was also playing the game it was it was a weird weird situation but i loved it it um, was a, it was a weird i guess that was a weird situation and this is gonna be my smooth segue to get us on to <laughs> the actual uh stuff through pallet town heroes is that because <laughs> I'm, I'm sure somebody's cringing, going, they're, they're just, they're, they're waffling, but that's, that's, yeah. Welcome <laughs> 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 to podcast! Hey! Is, so basically, I look Which at Pokemon Go, it was, su- <laughs> <laughs> it was such an, an amazing moment of the, of the bringing of the community together, the way Pokemon Go was, and, you know, and yep. that's how early Pokemon was as well, you know, it wasn't just, um, you had to meet, physically go and meet people to be able to do stuff, you know, yes. like like trading and stuff like that. And and it, there was a there was a definite um, social interaction with that. And I guess that's where uh, Pallet Town Heroes, um, which has just grown exponentially since it first started, like the community just every day is 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 growing. Um, is it's it's a group of like-minded people who can come together f- for the love of a single franchise i mean a very diverse franchise but a single franchise yes. um and whilst we have our differing opinions and we can have a discussion about it there's there's not that level of negativity within pallet town heroes like I, I mean you know you like ghost pokemon i like dragon pokemon you know um and there's there's others who are very uh, like minded in their specific typings and games and everything. But we can sit down and have a conversation, or you know, and but there's that mutual respect and and, and love of the franchise that yeah. keeps us together as a community, you know. And 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 that's been so heartwarming to see. You know, I, I think it's a credit to um, to Cody, and I think it's a credit to. Um, I, he's gonna kill me because I always I always want to say the J in his name and I always I, I and I know that I think that I think that's meant to be silent isn't it <laughs> uh yeah uh who you on about is poise poise <laughs> the first time poor poise the first time I read his name I'm like poges and I'm like okay and then I read I read somewhere else I'm like oh okay well I've been butchering his name for the last however long okay so See, yeah as far as I know I'm getting it wrong all this time as well like I don't know <laughs> so it could be you know however it is said but it's a credit we'll go with poise it was it's a credit to yeah. poise um you know and bringing it all together and the, the, everyone even on the stream team um mm. brings such different 
uh, you know, we've got we've got shiny hunters. We've you know we've we've, we've got people who are uh, quite competitive players. We've got yeah. people like myself who are more into like the collecting side of things and you know yeah. completion of Pokedex stuff and and you know so there's there's, there's a diverse range of people and, and it's been really rewarding to see that come together in such a positive way um you know and the team has has grown even since when i got on the team you know we've had introduced some new people and and i, I guess it's that dynamic and and even the general community is so like super um supportive and they enjoy the fun and like i guess the you know the, the gym challenge um was something that i was like I'm not a competitive player, but I'm like, all right, I'll participate. I'm still, <laughs> I, I'm still salty about the fact that I didn't get dragon typing, and 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 uh, uh, I have to live with oh my that. God. Dude, um, I was one off ghost. How do you uh, think I feel? I was gonna say, <laughs> and then I'm thinking you probably think the same thing. So you know, uh, I'm not normal. <laughs> like at the end of the day, you know, much much love to you both. Co- playing the gym challenge for those that don't know what it is. Okay, so the gym challenge was, was our. <laughs> I'll do my best to explain it. The gym challenge was our uh, is our first uh, community event. Um, it is uh, being uh, participated in by all well a vast portion of the stream team members. There's twelve of us taking part. Yeah. Them. Um. So what the go was is that it's a bit of a round robin style thing. Each week we uh, compete against each other. Um. It's all been completely randomised right down to the typing. Um. They did a r- random draw. Uh. We did have an opportunity to uh, swap our typing once. Um. With either a type that wasn't allocated, or if we could come to an agreement with another gym leader and swap with them um unfortunately i missed out on dragon type because i was asleep because because ti- <laughs> time zones are wonderful oh yeah uh, <laughs> but you know um so i got electric cinder is the uh ghost uh not the ghost nope. you like ghost you're the normal this is where it gets confusing <laughs> i love i love the fact i'm the electric gym leader and my my username is dragon bees and that just messes with my head <laughs> so Cinder is the normal gym leader, and I'm the yeah, the, the electric gym leader. Um, I, almo- I almost went for a trade for my team. I considered it, and then I went, mm, electric types are okay. I, in hindsight, there's actually not that many electric types in the game. <laughs> <laughs> my, so, my, original thought, my original thought for normal type was, okay, I got normal type. What can they even do? Like, <laughs> you think of competitive typings and you don't think normal. So no. I was like, okay. Uh, and I'm a competitive player. Uh, have been for about three, four years-ish. Um, give or take, anyway. And I thought, okay, I know normal types can do okay, but in Sword and Shield, there aren't many good ones. No. <laughs> um, so I was interested to see what was there. And then upon further investigation... I found out that normal types can do quite a lot in this generation. There aren't many good ones, but the ones that are available can still do a lot of work. They're um, very diverse, yeah. I was going to say, the ones yeah. that can actually do stuff are very good. <laughs> it, it's it's insane. I've got a very fun team. I did have two Pokemon originally that I did want on my team uh, and either couldn't get or decided against. Um you know what? I'll go to my current team. Everyone knows our teams right now. Yeah. Um, let's let's see if I can remember off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh, Double. I have uh, Obstagoon, which everyone hates. Uh, no, have... not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have Indeedee, which everyone's starting to learn to hate. I have Heliolisk. I have Silvalli Normal, obviously. And I have Ditto. Now, let me explain this. <laughs> <laughs> when I looked up what Pokemon uh, I could pers- uh, potentially use for the team, I saw, because I refer to uh, the Smug and database for uh, competitive usage. Yeah. Um, and Ditto has never been high up in rankings. Well, he's, he's been good, but not great. Um, I've noticed in Sword and Shield that all of a sudden, for those that are uh, uh, no competitive terminology, um, I won't stand this for too long, but he's in the overuse category all of a sudden. Oh, wow. And I don't know why, until I looked it up and it made sense. <laughs> yeah. There were two Pokemon I wanted to use. Uh, there was Bravery that I wanted to use uh, in place of Silvalli, and I ended up deciding against it. Um, and then there was also Diggersby, who was going to take that slot as well. 
but the only way to make Diggers be useful is to have his hidden ability. And at ah. the moment, from what I could tell, D- Diggers B hidden ability is unobtainable in Sword and Shield. <laughs> Either that, or I can't find a way to get it, because it was impossible. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's the only way his attack stat would be good. It's hidden ability, for those who don't know, is huge power, which is broken. <laughs> <laughs> that would have given Diggers B, I think, if I remember the top of my head, 120 or 130 attack. Ooh, okay. um, but without that stat, it's stats. Are, no, without that ability, it's stats are awful. And I was like, I can't get it. I'm not going for that. I'm going for Soul Valley instead. And my team's done well until um, last battle I had for week three. Um, side note, I hate the Steel team. Um, <laughs> I, I, was, I, was I watched that. Team. I watched that battle and I was like, holy crap. Like, Oh my God. Yeah, it that that that, um, that it was, that, it, was one of, it was one of, a very fun battle. That's for sure. Um, I'm not well. I am sorry that I lost, but I wasn't sorry about <laughs> the experience. It was a very fun match. Um, so far, I've battled. I've battled the psychic type, uh, Matt Calder, week yep. one, and I got very lucky. And the reason for that is his team is great once it's set up. Yeah, I I made sure not to give him that chance. <laughs> yeah, if he had that chance, I would have been wiped. I'm yeah. glad that I managed to get his team sorted quickly. Week two was you. I, I was going to say it was me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think and I was your... salty when you mentioned Obstacoon? <laughs> <laughs> your team, your team was interesting. Yeah, was I, very I, my my team is. Uh... I, each week, because I haven't competitive battled in years, so like <laughs> each week I'm learning more and more, and I felt like I was able to stand my ground better this week that's just gone. Um, you know, because uh, I was against um, Dan with the poison types, but yeah, yes. it, it's and even when you think you're prepared for something, you still kind of go, oh, I didn't expect that, you know, like and something catches <laughs> yeah. you off guard, and it's like. Um, but yeah, I, I guess uh, before I'll, I'll go through my team in a minute. I'll, I've just brought up the gym challenge info in the Discord. Shout out if, yeah, you, if, well. if you aren't already, you absolutely need to join the Pallet Town Heroes Discord. Uh, the link I'm sure will be, and if it's not, I will hassle people until it's there um, <laughs> in the description below. Um, everyone is welcome um, in the Discord. Uh, it's an amazing community, and I'm not just saying Come on because in. It's a great know, time. it is. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So yeah. So the basic information, okay, so as, as Cinder said, there's 12 gym leaders. Each gym leader was uh, is randomly assigned a type. Um, there's going to be eight weeks of battles. We're currently just finalizing week three. Um, so the overall score differential will determine the place uh, uh, for the next round. So, yes. um, you know, the number of knockouts you had versus what Pokemon they had left and all the rest of it. Um, so there's, and we've got rankings and, you know, which Pokemon have uh, killed the most and there's all sorts. And it's all it's, interesting. It's actually. Quite in depth, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm really impressed. And there's a shout out to uh, Silver Beanie, especially, because Silver has been the one who has orchestrated the the setup process with the document we've actually got an yeah. official league document and everything we're all fancy and stuff <laughs> but you know and and, you and think it when you hear us talk about it but, no but you know. it, it's it's been run really well i mean there, there's been some learning uh, curves with a few things and i think it's something that we'll definitely do again i can't i mean i can't speak on behalf of the the, the whole community but i i think the community backing it has been insane as well like people are like oh no i'm supporting this gym leader or i'm supporting that gym. like it's been really yeah. really good um, so then after the eight weeks, the top four gym leaders in standings will move on to a semi-final and then the top four gym leaders will battle each other. Um, and the other three semi-finalists once more, and then the top two gym leaders from the semi-finals will go on to the championship match. And then the winner is, uh, will become the first ever Pallet Town Heroes champion. Um, yes. So the basic rules have been um, that we can Dynamax, but we're not allowed to use Gigantamax Pokemon. Uh, none mm-hmm. of the legendaries are allowed to be used. Um, each team had to be, uh, at, at the time it was approved by the, the, the Pokemon League, which is a few of the people on the team are handling that. Um, so you can't change your team. Uh, we Originally, we weren't going to change our team through the whole competition. But after uh, next week, so week four, uh, we're allowed to change one Pokemon. 
Um, uh, obviously, it has to be in the same typing as we've been assigned. Uh, only one Pokemon from every evolution line can be used. So, for example, I couldn't use um, uh, Yamper and Boltand. I'd have to have one or the other. Um, not that I'd use a Yamper anyway, but... <laughs> Sorry, that probably the whack. <laughs> kick everyone's butt with a Yamper. Um, each gym leader can swap... Uh, oh, yeah, we've done that. Uh, each battle uh, is, has been streamed at least by one of the gym leaders. Um, if you want to see any of the highlight reel videos, we're doing one a week. Um, shout out to Blue Jay and Rhinot for doing the work with that. Week uh, two highlights should be coming out. Uh, when this comes out, it should be coming out the following Monday. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to the channel and you won't miss it. Yeah, so there'll be one of those coming out every week. Um, and then, uh, so the battles are being streamed on uh, you, uh, on Twitch and then uploaded to YouTube as part of the highlight reel stuff. Um, so they're picking yeah. out the best moments and that. Um, the 12 gym leaders and their typing. Uh, is, so we've got Matt Calder uh, is the psychic gym leader. Toby Pyre is the dragon uh, gym leader. Uh, uh, Levi Swan is the dark gym leader. Cody is the ghost gym leader. Poise is the ice gym leader. He lucked out because he loves ice Pokemon. Um, <laughs> uh, Silver Beanie is the steel gym leader. Dan the shiny man is poison. Uh, uh, Nerdy Steve is the flying gym leader. Um, I'm the electric gym leader. Cinder's the normal gym leader. Uh, Blue Jay is the fairy gym leader. And Hagbones is the uh, ground gym leader. So um, a few typings didn't get picked grass isn't there fire's not there water's not there the three base ones aren't there oh, no. <laughs> which is also very interesting I, I i'm very just... glad that fighting wasn't picked either uh yeah fighting wasn't picked uh, what else is missing there's 17 bug and rock, bug and rock. so yeah um some of those would have been interesting to face off i against. i believe poise was originally given fire type I believe he made a transfer to go from fire to ice, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think someone he else... really wanted to use his favourite type. I think someone else also got allocated uh, bug and swapped out. I think bug got... Uh, I, know, I know Levi got rock, um, and he wanted to change for the reason of... Uh, and I paraphrase, there's no rock type Pokemon, really. <laughs> there, 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 isn't um, a, there isn't a great deal. So uh, we've got the number of Pokemon available for each type. Rock is the lowest with 19. I was going to so... say, we did, we, we did get provided with a list of, yeah, what had the most least, so we had something to work with. I, I think Electric's got 22 or something like that. No, just 20. Oh, 20. So, I, so I'm not much better off. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what's been... So we've just... Uh, we're coming to the tail end of week uh, three. Um, yes. At the moment, I uh, let me bring up the gym challenge results. I think at the moment, um, aren't you at the top or is silver? No, Cody's taken over. Oh, it's Cody taken over. This shows yeah. how much I've actually read the. He, he, he's currently got a three zero perfect streak at the moment. Ah, right. Which triggers me to no end. <laughs> so <laughs> because the... I should be the one with the ghost boys. <laughs> That's At... fine. I'm currently tied second with Silver uh, and, and Steve, even though Steve's still got to do his match, so we'll see how what happens there. Yeah. Um, then it's Hag, uh, Bones, Blue Jay, and Matt Calder. Um, Poise is in rank eight. Levi's rank nine. I'm hanging around there in week <laughs> in uh, rank ten. Uh, I, I haven't had a win yet. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine one day one day um no you know i i'm, I'm gonna go for a perfect zero and 12 streak it's gonna be great um, zero eight. <laughs> oh, eight. sorry that's right we're only battling uh and then dan and toby pyre are in 11 and 12th so yeah i'm genuinely surprised toby hasn't won a match yet i it pains me though because it's the dragon time <laughs> and <laughs> i'm saying because his I team have... is strong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's his team? His team is Dragapult, Duraludon, Flygon, Haxorus, Hydreigon, and Turnator. That's an insane team. That is a good team. But he just gets... Oh, I mean, week three he did go against Fairy, so that's understandable. Yeah. But... Oh, I'm surprised, man. I, I, I insane. Kobe. I reckon he'll get some good kills. Uh, so, um, I'll quickly go through my team, and I'm going to have to bring the list up because I don't remember. 
Um, because I've got a memory like a, a sieve. Um, here we go. Uh, so I've got uh, a Draker's Alt, uh, Gavantula, Boltoned, Lantern, Toxtricity, and uh, Rotom Frost. Um, I remember that team. My God. <laughs> yeah. Um, my Draker's Alt has had some extra uh, work on it, as in uh like building up some stats uh and it's gone to yeah it's 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 better now um but the, the rotom frost has caught some people off guard <laughs> it, it, it caught me off guard i didn't expect that because before our battle i didn't know what your team was because i didn't look it up um <laughs> so when i saw rotom frost i was surprised because i was expecting to see either rotom heat or rotom wash well, Rotom, I... I'm pretty sure Rotom Wash at this point is currently not able to be used because there was a bit of an agreement to try and avoid using um, Ubers. Ubers, and I'm pretty Let sure me... Rotom Wash is an Uber. <laughs> Let me double check. Hold on, I've got the Smog and Strategy Pokedex website. No, he's in overuse. He's, he's usable. Oh, he is usable. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, Ro- 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 Rotom Frost has been has been good. Um, I did catch. It's a bit of pain. <laughs> uh, I, I did. I, I have to say, I did catch um, uh, Dan off guard because he. For- uh, I think he forgot about the Levitate ability because <laughs> he tried oh using he tried using Max Quake and I, I, I my reaction on my stream was hilarious because I'm like, oh, he's forgotten because <laughs> it just like obviously sailed underneath. It was yeah. It my team's oh, I hope that makes it to the highlights. <laughs> It was such a it was such a weird moment, like yeah. So um so yeah, the so the gym challenge uh is still going strong. Next week uh is week four, um after which we'll have transfers and that. So yeah, it's gonna be it's it's we've got a good couple of months worth of content to come out of that yet. You know, uh I mean we're only three weeks into the eight week bit, and then we've still got the semi-finals and the finals and etc so you know there's going to be lots happening um and the other thing is if you're part of the community there is a bit of a secondary thing happening in which some yes. of the, co- the community members are challenging gym leaders um there is one member of the community i believe they have beaten three gym leaders already um, yeah i'm gonna shout them out my god their team is such a pain um shout out to soul he challenged i think he challenged me first I think he's. Um, cha- I think he's fought you, Cody, and. Ah, oh, who's the other? Was it Toby? No. No, he hasn't fought Toby. Oh, who was? It? But anyway, his team. Um, he decided to uh, go for a dragon-based team, um, and he destroyed me. Like there, there's no way about. It. I I gave up a fight. I put up a fight, but there was no beating. His, his team is insane. Yeah, yeah, it, it, I've it's, heard it's that. Wild. I was meant to. He's not. He's not lost the match so far. I was meant to uh, face uh, him the other night, but I finished work late. Um, I'm yeah. absolutely petrified at this point. That I'm just. Oh it's, I, I, I'm, I'm expecting it to be like a two minute match. <laughs> <laughs> it like, is wild. So yeah, and look, you know, I think that's incredible that we can do that though, and have like um, yeah. the community challenge us and 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 look at us as sort of like genuine gym leaders. I think that's amazing. Um, if you're if you want to if you're listening to this and you want to challenge us as well, um, like we said earlier, the Discord link uh, hopefully is in the description below. Um, come into the Discord, introduce yourself, let us know what you're all about, and uh, we'd love to receive challenges from you. Um, it will mostly be when we're streaming because then we'll have access to our teams and have yeah. access to the game itself um plus we want to try and stream challenger matches as whenever we can yeah. um so if you want to challenge us let us know ask us when we're streaming and if we're available to battle uh, most of the time will be a yes sometimes people will be busy or they're streaming certain content uh but most of the time most of us will be very happy to accept that challenge um and it'll be very fun to see how well you do against all of us um yeah it's it's a fun time, man. Um, it's, it's... I do have a question for you, though, Bees. Yes. Week four, you're up against ground type. How do you think that's going to go? <laughs> there's a there's a four letter word starting with F that comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> I I seen the matchup. I'm like, I've got absolutely no hope in hell next week. 
Like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, even if I try, I mean, there, there, there are ways around it and I've been thinking about it, um, but yeah. like my, and it's obvious, especially if anyone has been keeping track of part of my strategies and that, that my Rotom Frost is my key character or key like team uh, member next week because yeah. of the Levitate ability, but I might have a few other and things up. And because time moves as well. Ice exactly. Help. Um, so I ha I might have some other things up my sleeve that I'm working on, but it's like, yeah, I, I know I'm absolutely facing an uphill battle next week. And, you know, the, the one thing I will say is the type matchups, whilst have an impact, don't ever think that that locks everything up because I went into week one thinking I've got this because I faced off against Steve and Steve is the flying gym leader. He, yeah, that, that surprised me. He kicked my ass. His team is super, super well trained. And like, I was like, oh my God, I'm not doing what I thought was going to happen. It's just not <laughs> happening the way I thought it was going to. I knew going into your, uh, your uh, match in week two that I had, not an uphill battle, I knew it was going to be a challenge because I had seen what happened in week one with how... Uh, strong your team is trained and I was like all right and I was like well we don't necessarily have an advantage against each other as such yeah. but they both teams have got the ability to use other moves that can help with that and yes. and that's where my drake assault came in in handy for a little bit of that match because I was able to teach my drake assault low kick and it was like yeah and it was a pain in the ass <laughs> and it's like awesome and i had done some speed training knowing that if i can outspeed some of them i can also so it was it was it was it was attack and speed that were my two big key things because yeah. uh drake assault is fairly heavy defense wise anyway i mean it's 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 thick for a lack of a better term so <laughs> it's heavy defense you know it's like it's like hitting a brick wall uh unless you've got the type advantage on it so it's like all right cool so yeah i don't know what next week's gonna bring who are you up against next week i'm up against steve i'm up against flying okay um, and i might i might be okay the main concerns i have are his noivern and toga kiss oh uh, his Noi um, his noivern is a tank <laughs> Uh, his, his Togekiss, I know how much of a pain Togekiss can be um, because I've used one in Gen 7 I was that guy um, <laughs> I also know that Noivern is Noivern <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with but I reckon, I reckon I've got a good shot so long as I'm not stupid with it I, if I play well, I've got a good shine now yeah um, um, is, is one there battle any... I am terrified of though, yeah. uh, sorry to interrupt but one battle I am terrified of what week is it in? Um, I believe it's week seven. I'm up against Cody. Ah, Not yeah. The ghosts don't affect each other. <laughs> yeah, so you're relying upon your Pokemon having other moves set. Yeah, yes. that's going to be a whole th uh, Which thing. Which I kind of have a benefit because normal types do that anyway. But I'm not going to um, discredit his team because his team looks terrifying. So... I don't know. Plus, he's using my mascot on his team. I'm going to be judging him heavily, but <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll see. <laughs> so, coming up next week, matches wise, uh, Cody. Uh, so it'll be, it'll be Fairy versus Ghost. Yes. Um, it'll be Flying versus Normal. Uh, it'll be Dark versus Poison. Uh, yes. I'm versing ground which i'm thrilled about um <laughs> uh what else we got here uh psychic versus steel oh that could be interesting um ice versus dragon oh toby's got such a terrible and, uh, i feel so bad for toby man <laughs> toby has had both of their weaknesses in the last four weeks that's so bad oh. <laughs> um so there are some interesting matchups i'll be curious so i'm facing against my weakness and so is toby um there are some interesting other matchups um so it'll be interesting to see whether Cody can maintain his win streak. Um, that'll be interesting. Um, you know, and there's obviously a bit of a three-way fight happening for second position. So I think next week might um, divide that up a little bit. Um, because at the Hopefully. moment... 
otherwise <laughs> there's a lot of uh, second places at the moment um so it's gonna be interesting to see if the leadership changes or you know there's gonna be a bit of shuffling um it's been fairly consistent i mean cody's been in that top tier pretty much the whole time not first but in that top three or four yeah. um so that sort of has changed a little bit each week um but the rest of it's been fairly stable and i think that's most of us have been playing fairly consistently um but yeah uh if i if i somehow manage to record a win next week <laughs> i'm going to do a cartwheel or something because <laughs> I just, I don't foresee it, and this will be the time where I somehow pull a win out of nowhere and be like... I was just saying, oh. the funniest thing to me would be, you'd end up winning against ground type, but not against the other types you've got yeah, against I was gonna say, so far. I, my, my record will be one to seven, and I've only beaten the ground type. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be amazing. That I would want be, that to happen. That would be that. hilarious. Um, <laughs> so that's the gym challenge. That's basically, you know, we, we, we'll be covering uh, a bit more in depth next week. Uh, obviously, each week we can then talk about each battle and that. Um, but because we had to yeah. cover a lot of how it's structured and where we're currently standing, um, we didn't want the we don't want the podcast to go on for a billion years. But, <laughs> um, so I guess the only other thing th- is I'm going to have a look to see what kind of exciting stuff's been happening in the last week in general. Can I say something that I'm excited for? Oh, yes. I don't know um, how much of uh, the community that's listening to this right now uh, likes the Mystery Dungeon games, but Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX is coming out next month, and I am so excited. I spent so much time in the older Mystery Dungeon games and DS in the past. I loved them to pieces. This is essentially a remake, a uh, remaster of the original Blue and Red Rescue Teams, and I could not be more excited. I, I can't... I've played the demo... I've probably played the demo through about 15 times now, and that's oh not a joke. God. That's not a joke. Like, well, this is... This is I where, love it so much. This is where I break your heart and say I've never played a Mystery Dungeon game. Ah, oh, treat yourself, bees. You're missing out, man. You're I plan so on I play on, I plan on playing it on um on the Switch. I will I will be giving it a go. But yeah, I've never played oh, one. Man. Will you be streaming it? I uh, uh, probably yeah. Because if you are, I'll try and watch it when I can. Obviously, time yeah, time zones. But yeah. I'll... <laughs> Uh, if not, watch it live. I'll probably try and catch up with it because I want to see your reaction, especially if you're playing it for the first time. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything about the story, but have tissues with you when you're at the end. <laughs> oh. <Aww>. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, it's going to be like Pokemon the first movie all over again. Um... Um, the Mystery Dungeon games have a history, especially older ones, have a history of making you just cry. Like, I don't know how they do it, but it's so, they're so good. They're such good games. So, oh God. Um, so just on the news department, uh, at the moment, Pokemon Go, the friendship weekend is currently running. Um, it will probably be expired mm. by the time this comes out because I think it finishes <laughs> on Monday, but it's happening. Um, so I hope it all went well or if it's still going, you know. Uh, Pokemon Home came out recently. It did. Pokemon Home has not been without its controversies, though. Um, that is true. It has. It's, it's had its issues. I know Poise couldn't get into it for like a whole six days. It took him six days and, you know, um and i guess even if there's issues the lack of uh communication about said issues has been a bit of an issue with people um yeah i I think that's what uh annoyed people the most there's been no like updates i suppose no no, no, i don't mean updates not the software term but like no one has been kept up to date with what's actually happening with it um plus there's been this whole um hack pokemon being transferred around um, yeah, which, that's not which, good. Like, anyway, because when the GTS was a thing in the past, you, it was rampant there anyway. So I yeah. expected that. It's still still a pain, but personally, I am not too sad by that because I expected it. Um, I was one of the lucky ones that uh, Pokemon Home didn't break for me. I was able to use it from day one, and I didn't have an issue. I haven't um, got it yet, and I, I was like, I, I just completely forgot, and then I was going to get it sorted, and then I just haven't, but yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I want it, and I want to sort it out, but um, yeah. I, I was watching I, all these thing issues and things, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I had an emotional roller coaster when transferring stuff from Pokemon Bank from Gen 7 and yeah. all the other gens, because I transferred everything over. I was like, cool, I can't wait to use certain Pokemon. Oh, right, they're not in Sword and Shield yet. <laughs> I know. Dra- Dragonite is killing me at this point. It's absolutely <laughs> killing me. It's like, I have my 
most amazing Dragonite on, uh, I think it's on Let's Go Pikachu. And it's like, yeah. I want to bring him across. And he's just sitting there all sad and not allowed in. It's like so they put a big sign up outside that, no, no, you stay out. It's like... <laughs> So, um, I just want to use my Gen 7 competitive teams, man, and I can't get all of them in, and it just makes me sad. So, I'm just gonna have to mix and match with old stuff and new Pokemon, which is fine, but I just want, I, I just want to have the whole team back. <laughs> I think, I think eventually we will. I think it's just, yeah. yeah. Um, what else has been happening? The uh, third Pokemon Oceana International Championships have been happening in my home country. Yep. Um, and I've missed it all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't watched any. It's so bad. So yeah, that that's something you sh- uh, can check out as well. Um, registration the new trading card game uh, expansion. Uh, oh, I seen that because Cody was having an absolute meltdown about Dragapult. <laughs> um, I feel like we're just bullying our fellow teammates at this point, but that's okay. Oh, um, great! It's just fine. <laughs> Registra- uh, so the registration for the 2020 international challenge uh, is open. Uh, I want to do that, but I don't have a team ready yet. I'm making a team at the moment, um, but I don't know how good it's going to be. Because um, my thing is, um, I often uh, like using gimmicky teams in competitive. I don't often like sticking to meta because I find it boring. Yeah. Um, I've said this story a couple of times on stream, but I'm going to give uh, like the Cliff Notes version right now. Um, I had a shuckle in Gen 7. Oh yes. Uh, um, the, long story short, the amount of full legendary teams I made rage quit on Ultra Moon because of my shuckle is so <laughs> high it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm actually um, side note. Sorry to talk about myself. Um, I have gotten into shiny hunting um, at the start of this week, um, and I've realised how infectious it is. Um, I, I'm currently hunting for a shuckle. Side note. Currently 450 eggs, still no shuffle. Oh, God, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still hunting a <laughs> shell loss after two months, and it's killing me. Oh, man. But um, I, when I get my shiny shuckle, I'm going to train him up. I'm going to make him very similar to my Gen 7 shuckle, and I'm going to make people cry online again because it's hilarious. <laughs> so you're banned from having bug and rock typing in the next gym <laughs> challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I do, it's gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a petition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. Um, speaking, oh. of, they've, they've announced uh, series three of ranked battle uh, rules as well. Uh, the VGC rule set uh, recently. Have the rules changed? You know. Uh, I couldn't tell you. Um, it, it, what do we got here? So, a team of three to six Pokemon. Uh, mm-hmm. that's the same. Allowed, allowed Gigantamax. Uh, Char- oh, no. <laughs> Char- Charizard, Butterfree, Pikachu, Meowth, Kingler, Lapras, Eevee, Snorlax, Corviknight, Orbeetle, Dreadnor, Colossal, Flapple, Appleton, Sandaconda, Toxtricity, Centiscorch, Hatterene, Grimmsnarl, and Alcreeny. I don't like that. <laughs> um, banned Pokemon. Gigantamax forms are so horrible to fight against. Yeah, they are. Banned Pokemon are Mewtwo, Mew, Celebi, Jirachi. So pretty much all the legendaries. It's all legendary. So pretty much anyone that anyone that's considered legendary you can't have. Um, it's 20 minute battle time. Seven minutes for your turn. Seven, seven minutes for your turn. Okay. Um, team, <laughs> team. So two turns and you can just wipe the time off the clock. Uh, team, <laughs> t- team preview uh, is 90 seconds. Turn Turn time is 45 seconds. So what's the difference between turn time and battle? Uh, your time. Um, uh, pass. My brain's died. I don't, died. I I don't know. I <laughs> don't know. Uh, so yeah, the rules can be da- downloaded from the battle stadium. Um, so yeah, you can check that out. But that got released in the last couple of days. Um, cool. Funko. That's right. Funko announced some more Pokemon Pops. Funko, the amazing brand that reminds me how poor I am. I I I want so much stuff from them, but I just don't. I just can't. Funko, I knew this was coming. Like before they even released the first Pokemon Pops, I was like, the day they start releasing Pokemon Pops, everyone is screwed. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, they're on their second Pikachu pop, which is like the most angriest Pikachu pop I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> um, and then, so the, this next wave is uh, a really 
pissed off Pikachu. <laughs> uh, Growlithe. Growlithe looks Blue Jay says that if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, well, it's not another way to describe it. Uh, it's very angry. It's slightly, slightly grumpy. Um, and uh, a Growlithe, Cubone, and uh, a rat, a ratata. A ratata. A ratata. Um, they're, they're, they're very, they're very cute. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's, I think there's about twelve or sixteen Pokemon out at this point. Um, yeah, I can't afford one. <laughs> uh, the new uh, English set coming out is called Rebel Clash uh, in the trading card game series. Uh, it's going to have 190 cards, including six Pokemon V cards, including Toxtricity, Dubwall, Boltund, and Sandaconda. Ooh, uh, I've seen, I, I, I've seen a Dragapult card. And yeah. it looks amazing. They do. They do look good. I used to collect a lot of the cards, and once again, it was an expense thing. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Um, Pokemon Go have announced more stuff to do with the Pokemon Go Safari Zone uh, in Philadelphia. Um, that will be running through May eighth to tenth. So if you're in that area, that's something you can check out. Um, the event will be focusing on red, white, and blue Pokemon. Um, so it'll be Voltorb, Alolan Sandshrew, Unknown P. Uh, Bronzor, Rufflet, and others, and Mr. Mime as the regional one. Uh, Shiny Evoltorb will be available at that event as well, so that's something. Um, Pokemon Homes undergoing maintenance on the 25th. Uh, they're fixing a bug that's existed um, when you transfer. <laughs> Pokemon Home is a bug, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, get, get some bug spray. Uh, if you transferred hyper trained Pokemon from bank into home, they would lose their hyper training. Um, oh, okay. I need to sort out Pokemon Home then. <laughs> so the hyper training will be restored. So they're doing a, uh, a, a maintenance thing on the 25th. Uh, so the service will be down for, it looks like, about 10 hours. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. Um, so that's a lot. I mean, I mean, if it's needed, that makes sense. But, like, a lot of... It, it's, it's like a uh, double, uh, double-edged sword. That's the thing. Um, because, like, when it's not working, people are not going to be happy. But yeah. When it's down, people are also not going to be happy. So There's a, like, I mean, when is there not somebody unhappy with something that's going on? Yeah. So, I, you I, know. Think, I think once this uh, update is done, hopefully uh, it encounters and fixes a lot of the problems it currently has because even though i've been lucky with it i know there are a lot of issues with it um so i I feel like there's a little bit of issues with the phone app as well i feel like there's a little bit of i don't know if it's just my phone no i think i think there's just been a lot of issues in general and the problem is it's not necessarily everyone having the same issue there seems to be a lot of individual bugs on individual people um which is probably making it incredibly hard for them to try and solve some of these issues um in in defending the pokemon company when there's so many issues like that and it's so varied it can be difficult to get things fixed as soon as because you're trying to figure out well first you've got to be able to replicate the bugs to know how to fix it well so the other issue you got as well is is the moment you fix a bug sometimes that can cause another bug yes so you know it's it's a bit of a it's it's a hard one to sort of work with but yeah so there is maintenance coming up and that's uh, it, look they're, they're actioning on it has their communication been uh good not really nope. um you know it's but been... they're still doing something about it so it's, yeah it's so my thought process is if their communication was a bit better um then people may not be i mean you're always gonna have that small percentage that are gonna be hostile no matter what but I think, yeah, I think communication is a big issue they have to work on moving forward with any of these things, whether it's Sword and Shield, whether it's, you know, Home or any other thing that comes out. Um, communication is important with your fan base um, and your consumer base. So it's something they've got to, it's something they've got to improve on. Um, and, you know, it's, it's something that I'm sure in time hopefully will be improved. But um, yeah. I mean, we'll keep you up to date with this podcast as to anything that comes up with Pokemon Home. Um, we're guaranteed, we're probably guaranteed to come across uh, a few other issues um, before it's fully fleshed out. Um, but every every week when we do this podcast, uh, we'll talk about news and updates regarding Pokemon Home and other Pokemon news as well. So um, if you want to use us as information regarding that, then feel free to. Everyone, uh, not Monday, I almost messed that one up. Every, <laughs> no, it is every Monday. I'm yeah, it, confused. It, it it is it is Monday. What what is the release schedule? Does it do we have a time that it comes out or is it just Monday? I think it's just Monday. It's just Monday. Again, more information, future podcasts. Uh, I'm I'm good at my job, I promise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So that's, uh, that's, yeah, we'll keep you up to date. But about the only other little piece of news is, well, not little as in, um, it's not that bad, little, but it's the last sort of major news is that uh, a, a rescue team uh, trailer came out in the last day or so. Um, I watched it. <laughs> uh, also some uh, the rebellious clash uh, stuff to do with the trading card game that's something else yeah, that, yeah there was a whole heap of, basically there's a bit of coverage uh, on Friday um, so yesterday about because I'm giving away when we're recording this it's Saturday um, <laughs> oh well well wait to date the episode <laughs> yeah I was just saying it's exactly no um <laughs> So yeah, uh, they, 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 there was a whole heap of information that came out about that, and the, the trailer was obviously the most important thing uh, that came out. So yeah. especially with it being so close to release, um, you know, I'm sure we'll see more bits and pieces come out uh, in regards to the uh, rescue uh, team game. Um, I'm going to be playing it. That's an absolute fact. Uh, I, I, I can I, almost guarantee there's going to be a, a, a large percentage of the stream team that will be playing it because I know it's been a conversation yeah. piece on and off uh, when news has come out. So I'm sure you'll be able to find uh, something to watch within that uh, within the team. Um, so yeah, that's basically all the news. And then I guess we just we've we've covered everything that's really going on um, in Pallet Town Heroes. Also, we are having um, semi regular movie nights. I think the first one's already been yes. been and gone. If I'm correct, or uh, it has. Yeah, it happened uh, as of recording this. It happened last night. Okay, um, so um, it's hosted by Levi, I believe, Levi Swan. Yeah. Um, and it's going to become a more regular thing. If you look at, if you go to the Pants on Hero Discord, uh, look in announcements, you'll see something regarding it there. You can also ask in the Discord uh, to tag any one of us, and we'll be able to, we'll be happy to give you more information regarding that. Yeah. So um, they're, they're going to be watching Pokemon, the, the Pokemon movies, um, some of the anime series, like there's they're, they're, anything to do with Pokemon. They're going to be watching is is the plan. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how regularly they're going to be, but they will be regular um keep up, keep up with announcements you'll find yeah. out yeah um it sounds like a genuinely fun time um so if that's something that you're interested in get involved it's gonna be a fun time it's gonna be great so uh yeah i guess i guess it's a point to sort of wrap everything up so the most important thing is, is uh, moving forward is that uh, if you want to keep up with everything, we've said it a few times, um, uh, join the Pallet Town Heroes Discord. Um, the link will be in the description below. Um, another good way to keep up with uh, when the gym challenge matches are starting or when some of the team members are streaming or general information about Pallet Town Heroes is to follow uh, the Twitter account for Pallet Town Heroes. Um, we'll put a link below for that as well. Um, if you want to see who's on the stream team, you can also look it up on Twitch. Um, We'll put it, all these links for this stuff will be below so that you can uh, catch up with that. Um, Hopefully. You, yeah, uh, it, there's a lot of content. You'll never be short of something yeah. to watch. Um, uh, the other thing is uh, if you uh, have any feedback about the podcast, um, feel free to comment below or if you are in the Discord, let us know. Um, we are open to if you want to hear more about specific things uh in the podcast you know this is going to be a bit free form until we find our feet uh in regards to how it's going to run um if you've got any uh guests that you think sh should come on whether it's a member of the stream team or or a member of the community or somebody um by all means uh let uh, my, either myself or, or cinder know um because we'd you know we'd love to have some other people on here um so you don't get just sick of hearing us rattle on for however <laughs> <laughs> however long it ends up being um but yeah and uh subscribe to the youtube channel i feel so cliched saying that but subscribe to the youtube channel <laughs> and um, turn on that notification i was gonna say <laughs> give the give the bell a ring um <laughs> as, coming onto this channel uh, a few times over every week so make sure you don't yeah. miss out. especially with the gym challenge going on there will be highlight videos um of the week before if my brain can do the math yeah properly. so so um, it's week three now so week two is coming out uh the highlights are coming out in the next day or so and then so yeah it will be a highlight of the week that has just passed um which has been yeah uh, yes <laughs> yeah beautifully edited by uh blue jay and i think ryan I think there's two people yes. working on them at the moment. Um, so, yeah. And that's Shout out to those, by the way. Those two are the reason why you're listening to this podcast right now. 
Those, those two are probably going to get sick of our voices, but that's okay. Yeah, me, <laughs> me and Bees are going to drive them insane, but they, they, they do amazing work. Um, them, as, as well as everyone in the stream team, can be found uh, through the multitude of links that we've harassed you about. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great time. Any final thoughts? Um, I think that uh, the Pallet Town Heroes... Uh, I take myself out as a, as a stream team member. I think the Pallet Town Heroes community is an amazing community. And if you're looking for a friendly, nice community that's very Pokemon orientated... Um, we all do play other games and that as well, but you know the the main focus is Pokemon. Um, it, it is worth joining, and and um, I, th I think you'll find it highly uh, rewarding. Um, it's fun, but there's also you know there's opportunity there. You know, if you're a streamer, yeah. you can network with people. If you're just a fan, you can organize trades and play games with people. You know, um, the movie nights and everything else. So we're just getting started. I know that there are a lot of plans happening in the background uh, with with the higher ups in Pallet Town Heroes. Um, so you know, I think that. We're just getting started, um, and if you want to come along for that ride, then by all means, join the community. Um, it's well worth being there. Amazing upcoming events coming. Uh, make sure you don't miss them. Um, my final note for this is I want Generation 4 remakes on the Switch. Thank you very much for <laughs> listening. <laughs> Good um, way to end. We'll, I guess we'll see you next week. Uh, right, so this has been Dragon Bees. And and this has been Sin the Shots. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, enjoy the content on the YouTube channel. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.